So the first thing you need to do when you're bleaching hair, obviously, is, you know, change into clothes that you really don't care if they get bleach on them. This is my hair dyeing and bleaching shirt. And the pants don't really matter unless you know that you're gonna, or like if you feel like you're gonna get bleach on them, which I usually don't. You need gloves unless you want your hands to itch like shit. Well, like hell. Itch like fuck, whatever. Something to put the bleach in if you already don't have something that it comes with. And um, the developer I'm using is Salon Care. Um, 40 bottom left. Because I want to make it as light as possible for the color I'm getting. And um, for the powder, I have Blonde Brilliance. Nine level powder liner. It, it says extra strength and extra moisture. Um, it, has, it has coconut oil in it to reduce dryness and make oil to soften and smooth. Last time I used this together, my hair turned out pretty nasty. The lady at Sally's said that. It looks really good. It does damage your hair, but honestly, that's the most damage my hair probably has ever looked. They probably have gloves at Sally's, I would assume, but I just got these from my dad. And this is just a measuring cup, an old measuring cup. You can use whatever, like, if you don't care if it gets ruined. I got this at Sally's. And this sets out. Well, actually, I don't know how much either of these were. We're gonna need something to mix this stuff together. And I'm just gonna use a wooden, you know, it's like a popsicle stick. Got these at Walmart. They were like 80 something cents for a cookie. And you don't need your gloves for this part. So I'm not gonna need too much. Oh, if you don't know this already, 40 is the highest, like, it's lightest you can get your hair. Um, 10 really isn't that strong, or like, I'd say if we, we were to get your hair, like, really blonde. Okay, my hair, my hair already looks blonde, but just like, for the color I'm doing, I might need to, like, lighten it a little bit more because there's, like, some gray in it, but you could use 30 or 40, but... Like, if you don't want to use something too strong that'll damage your hair, I'd go for 30, but, like, I don't want to lose pair again just in case, so I'm going to use 40. And plus, I don't feel like buying another thing. I'm just going to add some powder to this. I probably used too much, I'm not sure. Okay, then just take this stick and mix it. Okay, this seems like a little too thick for me. Um, it's supposed to be like pudding, but yeah, this seems a little too thick, so I'm just gonna let the cream develop here. Maybe a cap That's my cap. Three fourths. Two thirds. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. So, the last time I used this was about like a tiny bit over a month ago, and it got the color up, you know, pretty good. Well, before I had like white hair with um, black coon tails and the black kind of faded to like dark brown that would talk a lot but um you know you got the black coat you, as you can see completely and this stuff goes by pretty fast like, this doesn't go by too fast but you know 
last time I used probably like that much out of the bottle. And if you want to effectively meet your roots, you're gonna have to uh, section your hair because you can't just like pile it on, pile it all on because you're not gonna get all of it. It's gonna make it really hard to manage the roots because you have to like pick up your hair and get it and it's just not gonna happen. Hold on, I have to let my dog in my scratching. So for separating your hair or sectioning it, you're gonna need clips to like hold it and probably hair dyes. I mean it's easier to just like section your clips, but if you wanna like it like make it stay better, you don't need hair dyes. And I can just find one of the clips right now. But you should probably have like a towel on the floor or something. Cause you know, it usually gets on the floor. And you might want to have like baby wipes, because it'll get on your skin. And it's not a pleasant feeling. I'm just gonna section my hair. Okay, yeah, I look really weird right now, but my roots grow in, but the length of my hair never seems to grow. And I cut this probably like hmm, 10 months ago. Yeah. Should be put down my ass again, but no. yeah, I'm not looking at my hair again. <laughs> I actually, yeah, I actually think that it's easier to like start in front and like where you can see it the most. Okay, I have a decent second section right here. This is really difficult for me. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. I guess it's like easier to have someone else section your hair for you because you know they can get around your head more. But I don't have something else. Oh, and it's easier to have a mirror um, in the back so you can like see the back of your hair. Probably sure to start from the bottom.
Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit in my hair. The most I'm gonna leave it in is for 50 minutes. That's what it says on the Long Brilliance bottle. So, while it's setting in, you can just do whatever you need to do. Okay, so, sorry about like the shitty light and everything, but it's 2.15 in the morning, and I'm about to dye my hair. So, last night, around like, six, um, let me know. Um, yeah, 6.20, I got done bleaching my hair, and I bleached right here, and then I tried to get as much of my roots on this side, like, the, the back, and yeah, then, and I bleached, like, this part, because it was gray before, and I probably should have bleached this right here. You know, maybe the color would have shown up better, maybe not, I don't know, but, yeah, sorry, like, I know I look really weird with the milk thing. My hair wasn't too bad this time, I mean, it does feel kind of weird, but, I don't know, maybe it's because I didn't bleach my full head, I just, like, you know, bleach right here and everything, but, I let my hair sit in towel for probably like five and a half hours, and then and then like I pulled dry my hair like for five minutes, and then took a five minute break, five minutes again, five minute break, and then you know, so just kept going with that until I got dry, and I have this like I don't know, this is like horse stuff, but like. I don't know. It's like for their mane and tail and everything. It's not mane and tail, but like not the brand. But I just sprayed that on the parts where it was kind of hard. I mean, not hard, like kind of, you know. And, um, and I just pushed that out and I blow dry it again. Yeah. So. I am pretty blonde right now, like, I mean, I don't know if you can see the difference with the lighting, but look in the back, this side is blonde dark, and this side, this side's kind of grayish. So, yeah. I left it on for, no, actually, I washed it out 50 minutes after I got completely done, so, all of it definitely sit, sat in for like 50 minutes, but some of it was in for more than an hour and that might not be good, but yeah. When I got in the shower to rinse out the bleach, I just put shampoo in my hair and then I put this Ion Moisture Solution Solutions uh, moisture, Moisturizing Treatment in my hair and um, this deep conditioner, panting deep conditioner. So my hair didn't come out too damaged. So, yeah, I mean, you're definitely gonna want this if you're bleaching your hair. Just saying. And you can get this at Sally's, and I got the deep conditioner at Walmart. <laughs>